Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Sir Manager to create and manage TLS certificate for you on Kubernetes. Let's get started. First of all, let me open my terminal. Then I'm going to use Kind to create my local cluster version 1.22 and I'm going to install Metal LB on it. Then let me open my browser. Go to my blog. When we talk about using certificates on Kubernetes, normally we need to store the certificate and private key as TLS secrets in the namespace. Then the resources in that namespace, like deployment or ingress, can access those secrets and use the certificate inside. What Sir Manager does is it will create a certificate based on the issuer you use and store those certificates in a secret. It will also renew the certificates based on your settings automatically. Let me go back to my terminal and we can see the cluster has been deployed. So I'm going to open a new tab, go to K9S, and then we can install Sir Manager. So let's go back to here and copy. This will install a Sir Manager release called Sir Manager in the namespace Sir Manager. It will also install the CRD for you. Um, there are some extra argument here. It's for DNS01 validation. If you don't use those validations, you don't need to um, have these um, settings. So let's continue. Okay, so we will wait for it to complete. Okay, we can see this has been installed. So now we are going to install con ingress controller um, for our demo. So let's do Helm upgrade. This is a very simple installation. I'm going to install con in deepest mode with the latest uh, image tag here. Okay, let's have a look. We will wait for it to complete. No problem. So uh, we can see here. Um, so Metal LB gives me this external IP address for accessing con proxy um, um, as service. So let's go back to our terminal here and we can do curl. Um, it's working fine. We can see this is a con 2.8.1 and I'd also assign a local um, domain here, it's called proxy.li.kas. If we double check here, it's the same result. All good, let's start using Sir Manager. The first thing we need to do is to define some issuers. The first issue I'm going to define is the self-sign. As we can see, the issue I'm defining here is a cluster issuer. What cluster issuer means is all the namespace can use this issuer to request certificate. So let's copy kubectl, apply. Um, the issuer name is self sign cluster issuer. You can name it whatever you like. The next one we are going to um, create is a CA issuer. What CA issuer does is it will use the intermediate or root certificate you provided to issue all the certificate for you. This is useful for the organizations that has its own TKI system and they can use the internal CA for generating certificates. So let me just go to Sir Manager. Then I can create a TLS secret with the CA cert and CA key. And then I'm going to create another cluster issuer for this particular CA issuer here. And it will reference the CA key pair. One thing to notice is that um, the secret I'm creating is in the sub manager um, namespace. Um, so for all the cluster issuers, um, if they need to access the resources, they need to um, get it from um, this namespace. Of course, you can change the resource namespace uh, if you want to. Um, so let me just go back to here. Okay, so let me just try again. No problem. So before we start requesting a certificate, let me just create a deployment and a service. 
I'm going to use HTTP pin as my um, demo app and expose this deployment. Next, I'm going to create an ingress. And the name will be HTTP route with class con. Rule will be proxy.li.kas. Then it will be um, at path test. Then the backend will be HTTP bin SVC. And I'm going to use a TLS certificate for that. The TLS certificate I want to store in is in demo one. Um, this is in the default namespace. All right, I think I forget about the port. So let me just copy here, come back here, and then type in the port. No problem. So let's try HTTPS proxy.li.kas test. So this is going to be a self-signed certificate issued by Khan, right? Because we don't have our um, certificate in demo one as yet. So next I'm going to request a certificate with the self-signed issuer. How we can do that? Uh, we can use the annotation on the ingress object. So I'm going to annotate my ingress object. Um, the class, the issuer name, uh, I think it's called self sign class the issuer. Let's do it. No problem. So if we check here, we can see we've got the class the issuer annotations, right? So let me just go back and we can do another curl and we can see here the certificate doesn't have an object, right? So it's subject it's it's none and nothing. And if we take a look at the secret here. So we can see demo one is created. That means cert manager requests the certificate and store and create this secret for me, right? So the next step, I'm going to use the um, CA issuer to request the certificate for us. I'm going to use a different method. This time I'm going to use the cert certificate object method to request the certificate. So let me just quickly go here. And, um, What's the name of that? Uh, let me just say CLA demo cert and the C secret name. Let's just use demo two for convenience. The common name I want to use will be pros. Maybe just this like this. I'm going to request a uh, wildcard certificate. So let's go to um, here and I'm going to re remove this one. And then um, for the name, I think it's called this. So I'm going to use this name. Okay, so um, as you can see, we've got demo one here. Once I apply, we should see demo two created automatically. Now I'm going to edit my ingress object and change the um, certificate from demo one, which is the cell sign to demo two. See what happened. Let's go back here. If we request again, we can see the certificate issue here is my local issuer, right? Previously, it was nothing. So this is how you can use the manager to create a certificate for you. One way is to uh, put in the annotation on your ingress object or you can request the certificate object manually. So next I'm going to um, uh, show you how you can use ACME issuer. Um, first thing first, I'm going to go to the another cluster. This time it's AKS. So I've got a running AKS cluster here. Uh, I'm going to install Sir Manager and Con. Let's come back to installation. Okay, so the cert manager is installed. Let's install con. For this con installation, I'm going to put additional annotations here. These annotations will um, create a load balancer with a DNS name of my choice. So let's continue.
as we can see we've got an external IP here we can um, either create this external IP yeah, you should success and we can also use the DNS name for um, for this uh, load balancer uh, let me show you api.demo for fun so you can see it's um, it resolved to this um, I, uh, C name record and this C name record is pointing to this IP address. So that's why I added the annotations with the installation then I can have um, this DNS name. Anyway, so let me just do the HTTP API.demo for fun. We should get the same result, right? So next, let me just create an ACME issuer. To use ACME issuer, you need to consider which validation method you want to use. If you want to use a wildcard certificate, you will have to use DNS01 validation method. But um, if you just want a um, simple um, issuer and you can have port 80 open, you can choose the HTTP01 validation method. Uh, for simplicity, I'm going to use the HTTP01 validation for our demo. So let's just copy this one first, and then I'm going to um, um, create this issue, of course. Um, for the name of that, um, I would just say it will be le prod. Um, that's it. And the email, I'm going to put my email address here. And then the server URL, I'm using a staging URL here. Um, I've got a blog post before, uh, listed um, these three free CA ACME directory. I'm going to use, oh, maybe today I want to use bypass. Let me use bypass. So let me just change the server to bypass. And I'm going to change this one to BP. Private key secret reference will be the location where you want to store your account key. So the account key will be used to sign all the message uh, sent between um, your third manager and the CA. I'm going to call it BP issuer account key. Um, then I'm going to use the HTTP 01 method. I can copy from here. And the only thing we need is the ingress class um, just for the easy to use. Um, because I'm using the con ingress controller, so the ingress class name is con. If you're using Nginx or traffic, you just change it to Nginx or traffic. No problem. So the issuer has been created. So next we are going to create our demo app as usual. Um, HTTP bin, exposed it. And I'm going to create a um, ingress. Um, also called HTTP bin route. Class is con, rule is so this time will be api.demo for fun and slash test and the backend will be um, HTTP bin as we see port 80 TLS I will store it in BP demo one. All right, so let's create. Okay, once the ingress is created, we can um, create our um, command here so we can see um, it's installing and, and this is uh, expected. So next, I'm going to annotate the ingress object uh, with the um, the new issuer, BP prod. So let me just go back to here and annotate this ingress object with the name BP prod. Okay, and we are going back to K9S. So you can see here, um, this is the ingress object created by the cert manager for validation. Okay, if we have a look the certificate, we can see this is a certificate ready is false because it's still doing the validation. Um, let's wait for it. Okay, that means it's done. So once the validation is completed, Cert Manager will remove the ingress object. If we go to certificate again, we can see this is true, which means it's ready. And if we have a look at the secret here, 
uh, we can see BP depot one is there. And if we go to here and do the IVK and we can see, uh, sorry, not this one, not demo for fun test. And we do the S. So we add it a IVK. So we can see the certificate is issued by bypass. So I don't need the K anymore. So just I, it works, right? This is how easy it is for the server manager to um, create and manage the certificate on your behalf. And uh, you don't need to worry about renewing certificate as well because server manager will do that for you. Okay, so that's all I want to show you today. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. I will try my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.